What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. In this episode I'm going to start lining up all the parts and get some welding done. So what's up everyone? Uh, earlier this week I went out of town to get some more body supply stuff. Uh, just from what I have selection wise here uh, isn't as good as it is driving an hour and a half away. So I got a bunch of sandpaper. Uh, I'm not planning on doing a ton of sanding in the future, but I'm gonna have to do something with the red on the car. Uh, and you know, I might as well, I just figured, well, I might as well start building a binder of sandpaper and just have everything that I need. So I grabbed a little extra. Uh, kind of the same with the sanding discs. I really only just wanted a new mandrel, but I, you know, I saw these packs. They were pretty, pretty well priced. I think these guys were on sale, if I remember correctly. So I grabbed two of those. Uh, the tape was on sale, and I did need some. Um, the paint. I actually went to Walmart to get the best price on paint. Believe it or not, uh, they had this uh, rust check primer, which I've used before. It's great stuff. So I've got more supplies than what I need to actually get this done today, uh, but I'm going to start with the rad support, the header panel, and clean up all the spots that are going to be welded. Try and figure out what I need to do to the actual car body to line up the fenders with that, and once I have that all figured out, I'll start tacking things in place. As you can see, I've got all the parts back on, but before doing that, I did go ahead and clean up all my welding points on the rad support top and bottom on all the sides. I got everything fitted to the point with the headlights that it looked straight enough that I did go ahead and tack the bottom of it. I have the latch on and everything is looking and working perfect. Other than this line back here which is literally just the fender poking out just a tiny bit. It just needs to be adjusted in a little bit. But other than that, the lights being all yellowed out, everything's going pretty good. So I'm going to take the lights back out and put a couple more tacks on, get the fenders off, finish the welding, and start thinking about some primer. So I have the front panel all welded on just the way that I want it. Everything lines up perfect. Uh, it is really on there just it would, as it would be factory. Uh, so I've cleaned up all the welds and ready to start splashing some primer on it. I have given everything a good cleaning. I don't want to do too much prep work trying to get this thing just to turn black. So um, got this all cleaned up on the bottom so it's ready for primer as well and uh, just draped some dollar store tablecloths to kind of get some masking. So I'm going to splash this thing and we'll see what it looks like when I'm finished. And there it is with two thick coats of that rust check primer. Uh, it is awesome stuff. It just sinks in really well. It's, I do recommend using it if you can get your hands on it. Uh, the next step is to pretty much paint it. Uh, but I'm going to give it overnight at least. The rust check calls for 24 hours and I think you know 16 is probably good enough. Let this primer get nice and hard and make the paint really stick to it well. And here it is the following morning something like two hours after I've sprayed the second coat of black. Laid on there really nice going to be a lot of corrosion protection and of course the color change from red to make it I mean it's obvious that it's been changed out but it won't stick out so bad when you pop the hood and so now that I have that header panel or the rad support all welded on painted and finished everything else is literally bolt on now so uh, it's just preparation work of whatever I'm going to do with the fenders and the bumper and the headlights and get it all attached onto the car. I think that's where we're going next. 
because really I'm kind of eager to see what it all looks like. Uh, but yeah, at this point I'm just happy to have this much of it done and uh, you know, it's given me a little bit more ambition to get things finished. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave your questions and comments further down below and I'll see you in the next one.